Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and this is a daily pick a card and birthday reading for June 13th. If you were born today after sunrise, you are a four of diamonds. If you were born before sunrise, you are yesterday's card, which was a five of diamonds. All right, so what I'm going to do here is read each card and then all together for the collective. And then a special birthday message for you, four of diamonds. This is your solar year cards. They are here to help you manifest to the highest ability. Let's turn over card number one and see where we're going to get started today. Six of clubs. So this is all about finding that balance between ego and soul. This is around how you gather your information, how you process it, what you do with it, um, once you've gotten it, and just the love of learning and truth finding in that you discover so much about yourself while you are doing that exploration. And it's finding more about who you are in that balance of ego and soul. It's like they really have this conversation where they appreciate each other, <laughs> you know, right? Unheard of. But it's always that struggle to do that. And that's the struggle of the sixes in general. But the six of clubs makes it all about that intellectually challenging bits, you know, um, feeling good about what you know and being able to put that into good use. So that's the that's you today. That's a really nice energy. I'm going to talk about the four of diamonds energy that that we can all tap into today after we look at the three cards and then we'll put all of that together and know how we can put that four of diamonds energy of today to good use. All right, let's turn over card number two, Ace of Hearts. So we're going to have some kind of epiphany, some kind of change, some kind of um, welcomed energy to make a huge difference in how we feel emotionally. It's a beautiful card. This is one of those peaceful changes. This is finding a new love. This is finding a new, new emotional self love. It's like this gorgeous upgrade. You're just going to find an appreciation of who you are and how you are and who, you know, just you out in the world being you. Beautiful card to get here. Very nice. Nice reading so far. Oh, and now we've got the fate. The dark feather is at the top. So this is um, teach, teachy. Um, it is the fate symbol. So we are going to go to the new card and see just what this fate coming across our path on such a lovely day. And I just basically feel them out with my fingers and my thumbs. And when I feel it, I pull it. So we're just going to go through here and let's do this guy right here. Oh, we've got the king of clubs. So it is about some sacrifice today. We are going to understand that in order to reinvent ourselves, we are going to need to let something pretty powerful go. Ooh, boy, did that just take an interesting turn for all of us. So, you know, the, the King of Clubs is one of those cards where you have to think big with this card. You're going to be invited to really let go of some limiting beliefs. And in doing that, 
you you allow you to become a new you. It is through those powerful letting go moments that you really step into a new you, kind of like a phoenix rising out of the ashes of the old and into the new. And of course, it's going to be about those intellectual pursuits, how you go about gathering it, how you learn, what you do with it, how you share it, because the kings are for the people. You are all about getting rid of what doesn't work, just cutting it out, taking that hammer to the nail and knowing when to say when and what's got to go and dealing with it in a high vibe way because this is in the upright position. So we are going to do it just fine today. Big stuff though. So let's look at this under a four of diamonds. Very interesting energy for the day because fours are stabilities. Diamonds are about our skills, our talents, our resources, where and how we find value. There's stability in the fours. So we're going to be uh, feeling like we've got enough that, you know, it's not going to be in abundance, but we're good from where we, we can step off into. We're good with that. And we can really see where we need to take it meaning um, what we're going to do with it, how we're going to get it, what we're letting go, and step into that, that stability of that four of diamonds. So the shadow attributes of a four of diamonds is that just not being satisfied with the, the status quo, maybe feeling a little greedy, that you you want more, you, you feel you deserve more, that you can't really understand why there's so little. Well, that is the perfect opportunity to think minimally, right? You edit, edit, edit on a four diamonds day. You want to get down to what really matters. So, especially when you get the fate card, because that is going to give you the opportunity to let something go, something that you have valued, right? Something that has worked for you, something that has served its purpose, and now it's time, because you are ready for that upgrade. So, it is positivity, endings through some unexpected shakeup. All right. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Keep that in mind as we go through this day, because you can see we are going to be um, getting that validation from an outside source that this is really, we're working and getting uh, exactly where we need to be. It is also that truth finding. The sixes love to pull that truth and to just feel it, embody it, and be recognized for it. You know, their sixes are have that connotation of really wanting to get to the richness of that, to take advantage of that energy to rise your or raise your vibration to a new level. It's all about that for the ego that feels like it needs more. So keep that in mind. Where is it that it is not feeling as satisfactory as it could? And take the accolades, enjoy your day, really feel them and know that there is warmth and appreciation in it, yet you need to move on and into a higher vibration by doing a deeper and more diverse exploration for a deeper truth for you. And we're going to get it because look at this, Ace of Hearts, this is a new found version of you or me. I'm pretty excited about today. I don't mind letting things go. 
oftentimes it is way past the due date, (laughs) the expiration date, and it makes perfect sense when something like this comes up. And for me, if it comes up for me today, I'm more than happy to let it go, especially on a Four of Diamonds day. I'm very happy with the Four of Diamonds. Got it. We are going to be stable in it, and we are going to allow a nice little upgrade for ourselves. All right, so there you have it. And so now I'm going to move on to the... um, birthday cards for the four of diamonds happy birthday i hope you are having a fabulous day and then uh, we'll dive into the creativity oracle let's see where your manifesting abilities and heightening them are going to begin the begin actualization you will achieve your full potential by virtue of your creativity and your honest pursuit of truth. Very nice. So with that four of diamonds energy that you are, you will achieve your full potential by virtue of your creativity and your honest pursuit of truth. So every time that you have that gut feeling of pursuing, knowing that there's more truth to be had around something, perhaps even your own creativity. You need to go a little deeper and that maybe what you are looking to manifest this year, okay? So this is good. So being in pursuit of the truth, recognizing it, You'll achieve your full potential. Very interesting. Just by sticking to that honesty, that virtue about your creativity. So time to get in there maybe with some polish and to uh, do do an honest assessment of where you could um, increase your not only your creativity, but your skills and your talents, perhaps even the financial end of things. This is such a a clubby reading here that, you know, you could, uh, you could really maybe go back to school or look for, you know, some of the, um, practices out there to get deeper into your soul's ability to manifest. There's so much. And, you know, I I didn't mention it with the cards before, but for everyone today and for you as well, Four of Diamonds, you know, look to the the, uh, Venus card and see what you have there. For you, you have a Ten of Clubs on your Venus, if you're a four of diamonds. So for you, you would want to be looking at putting in the effort, you know, to get the rewards of that Venus energy, which is so lovely and satisfying and putting you in a good place and looking to see where Venus is in, where it is in your chart. The same for the, your sun sign, clearly, um, if you're a four of Diamonds, you are your birthday today. You are that third deacon Gemini. So you are all about being and becoming a more deeply rooted and defined you that talk about creativity. I mean, it is that is you. (laughs) That is that third deacon. You are the rebel, that independent rebel who is more comfortable embracing the the non-conformity, right? So there's nothing holding you back. So I'm pretty sure you are going to get right in there and do the thing. All right, so let's look. And Pluto energy, clearly. Go and look at the Pluto energy. (laughs) All right, so let's see. Six of diamonds. Well, this is pretty sweet, too. This is all about having that validation from outside sources as well. Same six, you know, sixes are that same uh, 
hunt for the truth about who you are, your honesty, your core, and embracing that and honestly to just actualize who you want to be, you know, envisioning who you would like to grow into next, you know, how to round out your, your corners and just be softer and more grounded in who you are. And with the six of diamonds, you have that highly, highly intuitive you. Being a four of diamonds, you are already there. But a six of diamonds is really going to bring it to home for you and full of truth. So I guess you can see where you are going to find it. And that is you just delving in and digging deeper into who you are at your core. Every time you get that upgrade and let something go, you are going to find your truth there. And when that happens, you're going to feel it. You know, it is all about that feeling, that higher vibration. When you are in it, you can't deny it. And that is your your hot spot. That is where you are going to have that abundance to just channel into that request of that request for what you want and what you need and the let the universe bring it you know as if ask as if i'm ready i'm so ready for this be very particular about what you ask for very clear make sure that there isn't any uh, leeway in misunderstanding or misinterpreting make sure you've got that fully fully packed and set it forth and just say, here it is. This is, this is what I'm looking for. I'm going to know you're going to bring whatever you bring it will be right for me at the right time in the right way. I'm ready and just be super grateful and do this with, uh, with love and with high intention. It, it's all yours. It's all good. It's all golden here. All right, I love this card because it's uh, it's like my my uh, channel. <laughs> Wish upon a star. I am made from the stuff of stars. I matter. Yes, you do. Absolutely, and you can manifest with the best of them. Well, all right. Happy birthday, Four of Diamonds. I hope you have a fabulous year. And everyone else, carpe diem. Do this with kindness and curiosity. As always, happy creating.